Good morning, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's finally not too hot and it's not too cold and it's awesome out here um, for change. Sorry if you guys are suffering, I don't mean to gloat, but anyway, so I've got a dustpan and two shovels and I want to do a dustpan pour, but I have an 18 by 24 inch black primed canvas and I want to do everything. Um, it's been a few days, I can't always seem to get out here when I want to and so I'm sort of chomping at the bit to have some fun. I've got some colors I want to use up. And I just want to make raucous colors, but I just started with the bottom dustpan. So let's see. I'm going to use the dustpan, I should say, across the bottom of the canvas, I think. I don't always know what I'm going to do when we know that about me. <laughs> I do change my mind. But um, filling up the dustpan is usually the, the weirdest part because you see all that paint going in there and then you're like, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> but um, I'm willing to take a chance and use some colors I like. And where's the color I'm looking for? Yes. And grab some green. A little gold. I'm just gonna throw everything in there. Some more purple. That looks like it. Whoops. Yeah, I was right. Something's in that tip. Just gonna squeeze some white in there as a catalyst and throw a couple of rogue elements in. I want to throw some orange in there. Why do I want to do that? Probably. Oh, yeah. That's a leftover Arteza color. I like that. I want some actual green but I'm going to put some more blue in there too. And I like that green so much I'm going to come back and do it again. Let's see. This is a minty green that's a color shift from folk art. Did I set my timer? No, I didn't set my timer. Son of a gun. There. Okay. So hopefully that'll work at 16 minutes. I've got some colors I have left over. Finally gonna have that bottle cleaned out. Into the bucket it goes. And the same with this, maybe, if I'm lucky. Come on, whatever thing you are, come out. Okay, well, I'm not too nervous about a little flow troll. Because I've actually coated a canvas with Floetrol and stuck skins down to it, and uh, boy, that's not being helpful at all. It's clumpy. Come out of there. Uh, do I really want that in there? I guess I'm going to take a chance. I'm pretty good at seeing lumps nowadays. That's too bad. That's, um, that's a great color. I'm going to put that over here. What else do I want to do? I wanted to grab some green. Some of this nice metallic forest green and that's probably a lot of colors and I, maybe I should have stuck to a, to a simpler palette and I didn't shake that and I know what that is that's white pearl and that needs to go in the bucket too I got a lot of colors to use up today and I hope this is uh, <laughs> I hope this is not unwise of me I want to say thank you for all the contributions by the way to everybody who donated to the studio for last month's drawing and um, congratulations to Gail who received or should have received her painting by now she hasn't let me know but it got shipped out a few four days ago all right um, you can also enter again if you want to there's three more paintings coming that's a lot of paint um <laughs> okay so that's a lot of paint and you may have the same problem I have when it comes to that being a lot of paint and so I'm going to add a little bit more black and then I'm going to use a base. Am I? I'm going to move that away. Okay, so I'm a little clutchy today. Whatever. It happens. I'm not the only one. All right. I'm going to take some out of, out of there. Right out of the center. Can I use all that? I don't know. And whatever goes in there goes in there. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to lose some, but I got beautiful paint where I've got it, and I want to use it. So, 
Now, less is more. I'm going to put that someplace else because it will spill, I know. That's the fullest shovel hole I could have possibly made. So here goes nothing. And no, I don't have a wet canvas. I'm going to let that all flow down so it's somewhat even. I got a lot of purple there. I'll let it go to the end. And I'm going to come back in and do a double dust pan because I can. And I'm going to take one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, which are available on my Amazon link right below the video. and scrape my dustpan out. And then I'm going to think about what I'm going to do with my scrapings. And I'm perfectly happy to utilize whatever I get. In spite of the fact that I know if I get paint on this canvas anywhere except for where I want it, it's not something that's coming off. So I've got that other shovel full of paint, and I'm going to throw this dustpan right into the bucket. That looks like a wave over here. Cool. Well, it did <laughs> for a second. And I've got enough paint on my spatula. I thought it went down over the edge, but it didn't. But I had enough paint on my spatula so I can lead that down over the edge. And that looks kind of cool. It still looks like uh, a raging river, though, which is kind of neat. I could put a few more waves in there and not worry about it. It wouldn't be too hard to do either. There, a couple waves. I could probably put some watermarks in there. just by dragging my spatula up through. Cool! I like that. This is kind of strange down at the bottom, but I like texture that it, it's unexpected, too. And, uh, where's my little shovel? Whoops. So I am getting some... some dribblations. Dribblations? New word. <laughs> just gonna keep dipping my spatula right in. Pulling it out, putting it down. I could probably make waves if I wanted to there. We'll see what happens in a minute. I'm going to make that decision myself after I look at it. I'll throw a few waves in there, why not? And the other day I pulled out my medical tubing in lieu of a bendy straw, which I actually like. I actually prefer the bendy straw, so you don't need medical tubing to blow into your paint, for sure. Just taking a minute and getting somewhat focused. Sort of giving the illusion of, you know, the, the currents in the river. So, maybe a little more hand over. But that beautiful green, turquoise. Well, the combination is just fantastic. Actually, I'm pretty happy with it. And the variation is pretty cool, too. So I'm going to take that tubing, I say, assuming that I put it someplace where I could, yes, I can find it, and I'm going to blow into my paint. Why not blow into a wave, in a wave pattern? I think I'd like to dribble a little more paint right across there, actually. But I'm a lot nervous about too much paint being in this shovel. So I'm just going to come back in and use my spatula to dip and dribble. I didn't spill too much paint out of that, amazingly enough.
I kind of liked what the uh, what the tubing was doing. So maybe I'll just bring that back over again. Make it kind of uneven. I don't know if I want it to be very uniform, but it definitely reminds me of a river. So I'm not unhappy about that. And it's a river at night, obviously, because we've got dark reflections down here. Just keep wondering where my uh, what's going to happen with my sky, and it could just be stars. Maybe I'm done. <laughs> it's so hard to make up my mind in such a short amount of time, and we have seven minutes left. So I'm going to just take the torch to the to the water for the minute. See what we get. Maybe put my glasses on, that wouldn't hurt anything. There is no silicone in my mix. Oh, you guys, my book is out because I can. It's only an ebook for now, but um, if we're successful, I can probably convince my editor to put the extra time in to make it into a, uh, a publish on demand book. It's on the Amazon link also. You can, uh, you can scope it out for, uh, for a small fee, I, I gather, and you can. Um, get a free peek too, which is pretty cool. I like all that. I like all that a lot. I could just put stars up there and be perfectly happy. I see I've got lint. I tried to clean my canvas before I started and I wiped it off with what should have been a black cloth was a white cloth. So I might have to vacuum this when it's dry, the dry spots. Okay, so I have come so far and I am not done yet. I have got an iPod case and another shovel and I think I'm just going to be brazen and add what? I think a sunset sky, but that doesn't make much sense, does it? Okay, well, I guess it's just going to be nonsensical. That's the way it goes. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to add everything I want to add. Throw some what in there? Something lighter. Sometimes I just feel like stirring it around, but uh, my experience tells me that it's probably better if I don't. All right, still no wet background. I want to make that come out to the front of the shovel. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Um. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that right there for right now. And give myself a guideline. And I'm not even touching the canvas except for here and there. And I really thought I might want to swipe that out, but I'm not sure as I look at it what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some weird stuff. I'm going to steal paint and agitate paint and use the edge of my shovel. Because I can. little clouds. I don't know what that looks like from your side. You're, you're looking at it the right side up. Me, not so much. I've got the Prussian blue, which is, is calling me, really, because it's so close to the black that I'm thinking I can probably fake out my night sky somehow, some way. And I'm not minding that light light turquoise in there and haven't decided if I'm going to swipe anything or not. I'm just going to keep using the edge. That's kind of cool. I like it. It doesn't tell me what I'm going to do with anything above it though. And I guess the spatula works even better than the shovel. <laughs> so 
can also kind of pull that around. Well, it's very stylized. It's definitely, uh, I can't even call it really an impressionist because it's meant to be a sunset sky in the evening over a river. And it's basically just for fun, and it is. It's fun. But that leaves me wondering what to do with the top, your bottom at the moment. And I'm thinking I want to, um, I want to just take a chance. I don't want to use the paint in the shovel. What do I want to do? I got two minutes to figure it out. I want another shovel, and I have one. There's my shovel. And I am going to take my white pearl and my Prussian blue. I say that. <laughs> and then nothing. Uh, I know I have a tack here somewhere. So plug is gone. Yes. I like it when a plan works out. All right, so because I like the idea of some gray in there, I'm going to allow some some more white. Um, hmm. <laughs> Maybe some of this blue. And what did I do with my tack? Clever girl. Thought I won't be using that anytime soon. Yeah, I'm so wrong. Come on, behave. Yes, night nighttime colors. Good, I like that. I don't know if I want to put anything else in there or not, but I do intend on swiping. Unless I change my mind. thinking that I could just rationalize, fully rationalize, cleaning up my shovel and using my spatula to draw whatever across. I'm still thinking about swiping. It's just on a dry canvas. It's a whole different animal. So I guess I better get brave Get braver, go home. Oh, that's right, I am. Never mind. I don't feel like I'm making a whole lot of sense right now. I want to look at that the other way. Okay, here goes nothing. And I think nothing includes adding a little white. Maybe a lot of that dark purple. Yeah, that draws the eye back and forth. That's good. I like that. I'm also enjoying those cells very much. And I think I'm going to do that up here. Yeah, cool. Liking all that. Okay. I got no time to tell you. Oops. And I panicked. Never mind. I got like a few minutes. Maybe less. <laughs> to tell you whatever I need to tell you, which is what I usually tell you, that there are over 400 videos, so if you like what I do, first of all, please give me a thumbs up if you can manage it. That would I would so appreciate that. I'm trying to work and talk. That's never a good idea. But I do it all the time, so I guess I should be okay with it by now. I had a crib sheet, and of course, there it is. So the book is on the Amazon list, and so are the spatulas. And the Amazon list, if you, if you shop there, you help me out at no added cost to you, and I really appreciate it very much. Throw a little more pearl in there. And there are three Facebook volumes of artworks from YouTube, wet and dry. And the link is at the bottom underneath the description, um, underneath the video, just below where I put my paint pouring recipe, which is there. If you look for it, you'll find it. And there's a Pinterest and an Instagram link where the Facebook albums are. Um, boy, there's Teespring clothing, but uh, I'm hoping that I can iron out my, my issues with them and make it easier for you guys to order. I don't know how, what the deal is. I'm having some technical difficulties with Teespring, and I wish I wasn't. 
So that is all 